It all begins on a cold night in an orphanage in Maine, USA. In room number 237, 17-year-old Harry cannot sleep due to nightmares. In his dreams, he sees a faceless figure trying to snatch his soul. He wakes up restless, not knowing the meaning of his dream. The orphanage has two guardians who have cared for the residents since childhood. The guardians, Petunia and Vernon, isolate the children from the outside world. Harry lives in anticipation, waiting for his 18th birthday to finally be free. At night, the bats can be heard trying to enter the orphanage, and during the day, the crows attempt to break the windows. One day, Harry decides to leave the orphanage and explore the world, but Vernon sees him and punishes him by locking him in a confinement room. Inside the room, Harry discovers a map hidden under the bed. The map provides instructions to escape confinement and reach the street. Harry decides to follow the map and escape, finally experiencing the real world. Harry leaves at midnight, arriving under a bridge where he decides to wait for daylight. As he is there, trying to sleep, a crow approaches and wakes him up. The crow carries a letter with Harry's name on the envelope. Harry realizes that the guardians carefully guarded the windows for this reason. Harry reads the letter, which states that he has been invited to be part of Hogwarts. Hogwarts, a school in Salem, Massachusetts, requires Harry to take a train. Inside, there is a ticket, so Harry decides to take the next train. In Harry's seat, there is a suitcase with clothes and a wand that someone sent him. There, he meets Ron and Hermione, who tell him everything about Hogwarts. They are not orphans. They want to continue the family tradition. Hogwarts, a school of wizardry, originated in Salem hundreds of years ago, which is hid, but established a secret school to share their knowledge. The school is led by Dumbledore, a legendary wizard who is hundreds of years old. Students are prepared to master the dark arts, protecting the world against malevolent wizards. Students are divided into houses, each with its own special abilities. Harry, Ron, and Hermione are assigned to Gryffindor House, which specializes in fire. Another student, Draco, belongs to Slytherin House, known for its specialization in ice. Ravenclaw specializes in earth, while Hufflepuff's element is wind. On the first day, Dumbledore gathers all the students to remind them why they are there. Their duty is to preserve the dark arts and defend the world from malevolent wizards. They seek to avenge what happened in Salem years ago by threatening humanity. He says that there is a bad wizard whose name should not be mentioned, who is trying to end humanity and has an army ready. One night, Dumbledore tells Harry that he knows who his parents were, wizards who were part of the resistance that wanted to defeat the Dark Wizard, Lord Voldemort, who on that fateful night vanquished Harry's parents. Upon learning this, Harry begins to seek a way to confront Voldemort. However, he understands that he must train and excel to stand any chance. With his friend's help, Harry becomes the finest wizard in the school. Meanwhile, Voldemort begins to rebuild his army, and in a magical orb, he sees Harry. Realizing that Harry is a threat to his plans, he decides to eliminate him. He sends the Dementors, his dark servants, tormented souls who work for him. The Dementors arrive at Hogwarts and cause panic among the students. They can transform into their worst fears. Armed with his wand, Harry confronts a cursed clown, unwavering. Shouting Lumos Maxima, he creates a ball of light to repel the clown. Voldemort sees everything and recognizes Harry as the son of his greatest enemy. Dumbledore begins to train all the students as he knows that the war is approaching. Voldemort recruits more dark wizards to deliver a final blow to Hogwarts. Dumbledore reveals a secret weapon to aid Harry in his battle against darkness. Harry, Hermione, and Ron decide to search for that weapon and venture into the forest. Hagrid, the gatekeeper, warns them that it is full of spirits hungry for human souls. Advancing, they face haunting visions of their past, present, and future. Gradually, the forest transforms into a labyrinth resembling a brain. Harry comes to realize that the forest mirrors Voldemort's mind. As they approach the center, the forest becomes increasingly darker. Harry discovers that he has a strange connection with the labyrinth and with Voldemort, but that connection helps him find the path to the center where the sword is located. Meanwhile, Voldemort arrives at Hogwarts, intent on eliminating everyone. During an epic duel, Voldemort faces Dumbledore, aware that Harry is inside his mind. Dumbledore allows himself to be defeated, trusting Harry will seize the opportunity. Harry seizes the moment of Voldemort's lowered guard in his mind to retrieve the sword. They successfully escape the dark forest with the sword, ready to defend Hogwarts. Upon arrival, they see that the entire school is taken over by the Dementors. Harry decides to summon Voldemort and challenges him to a duel in front of everyone. 
Hermione recognizes their powerful bond, acknowledging the risk to their lives. An epic duel ensues, with each wielding their wand, casting immensely powerful spells. While Harry fights, his parents appear in spirit to support him. Upon noticing this, Voldemort summons all the Dementors to join him. Harry is losing the battle, but Dumbledore appears and summons the spirits of the Fallen. The duel escalates to immense proportions, poised to change the Dark World forever. Voldemort believes that he will win the fight, and Harry draws the sword. Charged with momentum, Harry lunges at Voldemort to plunge the sword into his heart. Voldemort looks at his body, which dissolves into a cloud of dust. The real and magical worlds merge, bringing peace to both realms. The Dementors disappear, and the students of Hogwarts are set free. Harry has managed to stop the dark threat, but the question remains, for how long? Yet Harry and his friends will be there, ever vigilant for the next threat. Subscribe to Neural Nuggets and join us on our next adventure.